Nigeria gained her independence on October 1, 1960. Unlike some colonial territories in Africa, she earned her independence without experiencing bitter wars. The constitutional instruments embodying the independence of the Federation of Nigeria. She became a republic three years after, and since then, Nigeria has transformed through different forms of government. A lot of people, a lot of analysts have come to narrow it down to leadership. And unfortunately, the country, we've had a debt of leadership at the national level for so long. Blame it on the military, blame it on some civilian presidents. The fact is, this nation has never been on course. One can adduce this to past governments, past administration, their dispositions and their attitudes towards good governance, majorly from our leaders and partly from, from citizens. Known for his prudency, President Muhammad Buhari has opted for a low-key independence celebration this year. As governments and citizens mark Nigeria's 55th anniversary, what lessons should be learned from the past? In spite of uh, the problems created by Boko Haramism, we are on top. So the mere fact of existence at 55 is worth I don't think there is any need to overflow the issue. We know as a nation we are not where we want to be. We have nations that also got their independence in the late 50s, early 60s, up to the mid 60s. One of them is Singapore. And um, we know right now we are not economically and in many other what do I say, um, developmental criteria comparable to these countries. So we are not happy. Presently, there is stability in the country compared to other nations. You know, you go to other countries, uh, you know, when you talk of peace, it's one of the major things a country needs to achieve. Respondents also preferred solutions on the way forward. Power. Let's get that power right. It's very, very important. Corruption is important, of course. I assume after solving corruption, because no matter the amount of money you try and put into power, if there's corruption, it will still wipe it out. But if you are able to solve corruption, which I believe we will be able to stem to a greater extent, the next thing to focus on is power. Try to fund agriculture. Bring young men to involve them in agriculture. Sponsor them. We have so much expanse of land. Let them involve in, in, in crop production. So let, us, let us be self-sufficient in terms of food production. It is hoped that Nigeria will proceed from the 55th anniversary to embark on a journey that brings about progressive change for the benefits of citizens. Olasumbo Mudukwe reporting for Lagos Television.